welcome back to part two of this tutorial how are you doing we've just finished row one of uh, 16 double crochet stitches and now we will start on our second row which will consist of 16 single crochet puff stitches we're gonna start this row by chaining one Now we're going to work our first single crochet puff stitch. Now some people like to yarn over first and insert the hook into the stitch. As for me, I would go straight into the stitch as how I would do my single crochets. We're going to go straight into the same stitch. Take your time, no need to rush. We're going to yarn over and pull through the loop, hold it there, you should have two loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over again, hold it there, insert your hook into the same stitch, we're working a puff stitch remember. Okay, yarn over, pull it through the loop, we should have four loops on your hook, we yarn over insert it into the same stitch yarn over and pull through the loop we should have six loops on your hook now we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook and we chain one to close off the puff stitch now we're gonna work our second puff stitch Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over again and insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over pull up a loop you should have six loops on your hook we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook now we chain one to close off our single crochet puff stitch now let's do our third puff stitch insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop hold it there yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop hold it there we should have four loops on our hook we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through the loop we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook now we chain one to close off the puff stitch let's do one more puff stitch together and then I will let you work on your own okay insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you should have two loops on your hook we're gonna yarn over again insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop four loops on your hook we're gonna yarn over again insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop six loops on your hook we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook chain one to close off the puff stitch okay we're gonna work 12 more puff stitches to bring us to a total of 16 
single crochet puff stitches I'm gonna let you work on your own and I will meet you once you've reached the end of the round We've reached the end of our round make sure to count those stitches to see if you have the correct number of stitches at this point we should have a total of 15 single crochet puff stitches 
Now let's work on that last puff stitch together. Okay, insert your hook into that last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, hold it there, you should have two loops on your hook, yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, you should have six loops on your hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook and chain one. Okay, we're going to close off round two with a slip stitch. So we're going to insert a hook into the chain one which we did in, our in the beginning. We're going to insert a hook, pull up a loop and pull through the loop that's on our hook. Okay, 